This may come as a surprise for some of you, but PCSX2 has had a major update. I don't know what to make of it, but it seems like many problematic games have been fixed, especially when it comes to performance. As soon as Need for Speed Carbon came up, my interest was piqued. After all, the series was only playable up to Underground 2, and after that, we had to tolerate poor frame rates on subsequent titles. But now, with the update, maybe we can finally play all the Need for Speed games on the emulator. To keep things interesting, I'll be testing the games on my older PC. Here are the specs for your convenience.
So, it looks like Undercover pushes the emulator the hardest. However, it's still fully playable now, so congratulations PC gamers. You can finally play all of the Need for Speed games at playable performance. It only took a few decades, but better late than never. As for emulator settings, DirectX 11 is superior to Vulkan when it comes to frame rate. You can get as much as 15 extra frames just by switching to DirectX 11. Now remember, I'm just referring to Need for Speed here. It's not a universal recommendation. If, for some reason, you still struggle with performance, increase your cycle rate to 130 or 180. This will make the games fully playable, even on older computers. Anyway, if you found this video useful, please remember to give a like. It really helps with the algorithm. Thanks for watching and have a nice day.